But that was in the 70s. Right, right. Yes, yes. Okay. The, the, the 70s is the story when Jackie Gleason and Nixon went to go see the Air Force Base. Yes. How did that story go? Well, so a really good friend of mine, a guy who's very high up in the entertainment industry, who's been, influ who's been very uh, instrumental in getting my foot in the door with some executives over the years to help me out. His name's Jeff Sagansky. And one day, quite a while ago, actually, I was doing, I know what I saw. I said, uh, Jeff, you're so nice to me. Like, why are you helping me? You're this is top executive. You're a gazillionaire. You know, uh, why are you helping me? I'm just this little guy, like this little independent guy. And he goes, uh, you know, James, I was friends with Jackie Gleason. And Jackie Gleason told me one time, Jeff, don't ever believe anyone that tells you that UFOs are not real. I had 100% definitive proof. Excuse me, whether he saw it or shown it, but he was somewhat nebulous as to exactly what happened. But he said, don't ever believe anything. This event's happened. UFOs are real. They're here. It's a fact. So he said he always remembered that uh, encounter with Gleason when he told me that. And when he saw this independent guy and myself just striving to get the word out and, and find out what's going on, he always like offered a helping hand. He was always really helpful. Then I think it was like maybe about two years after Jackie Gleason died, his wife came forward and said that one night he came home in the early 70s from a meeting with Nixon at a Florida military base. Yeah. You know the one. Homestead, yeah. Homestead. Right at the tip of Florida. And that his eyes were wide and his face was white. And he said, I was just shown entities from a crash in New Mexico. Uh, and they were floating in some fluid or something at the Air Force Base. That's what his wife came out with. Now, you know, that's probably what Gleason was referring to, I would imagine. When he met with Jeff Sagansky and told him that, I would imagine, right? If he had that level of confirmation, that's what he said to Jeff. He didn't say to Jeff, you know, Nixon showed me the bodies. Right. He just said, I had definitive proof. Like, there's no, don't ever believe anyone tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely here. It's a fact. That's what he said to Jeff Sagansky. And so when his wife came out with that, um, that's probably what happened. Do you get the feeling that a lot of when the, you talk to a lot of these people that you interview that obviously there's people who worked in the government and worked on some of these top secret programs. Do you get the feeling that they're holding things back, a lot of things back sometimes where they're talking to you? Because obviously there's times where you're talking to people like witnesses who aren't yeah. tied to anything and mm -hmm. they're just talking mm -hmm. to you freely. They're just mm -hmm. having a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. But then there's people you talk to who are influenced by yes. organizations and it's, it's, it's a different kind of conversation. Yeah. I'll give you an example. This is kind of funny. <clears throat> and I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, is an intelligence person. We're putting together this, this uh, I, he was helping me put together a, uh, some language for uh, something I was doing. And he said, no, 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 change that, change that wording. And I said, um, okay, why? There's, it was like, I don't know if I said like extraterrestrial or if I said alien or otherworldly. I can't remember exactly how I phrased it. And he said, no, 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 delete that, change it, make it to this. And I said, okay, sure. Why? He goes, well, they might be living in our, under our oceans. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay, can you elaborate a little bit? He's like, no. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what he said. I swear to God. Yeah, that's what he said. I, I hey, what, I, what, yeah. where did this guy work? He was an intelligence guy. I'll leave it at that. Okay. He definitely would be in a position to know. Certainly, you know. But that's all he said was like they might be living under the. They oceans. might be living in our oceans. Yeah, they might be.